very famous culturally amazing Mini Cooper has been around for the past 61 years and along the way there have some there have been some very amazing moments in within in within Mini's past as far as some amazingly exclusive c c cars but what people don't really get to see is is exactly how many of these very limited edition very cool minis that were brought out in the past that people just didn't really realize was ha was actually being uh, brought out so I have compiled a list of the 10 rarest minis that you've probably never heard of. So welcome to this brand new series of Unknown Gems. Let's kick things off with 1985. One of the first ever limited edition minis ever to be launched. First one I've picked out is a 191985 Mini Ritz. Now this was a car that was built to uh, celebrate the reopening of a five star hotel in Mayfair, London, uh, also known as the Ritz Hotel. It's a very exclusive five st 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 star hotel, and to celebrate that, many built 2,200 of these limited edition c cars. The way how you can tell that it, it is a many Ritz is that it has number two, 1988 brought out the mini racing. Now, People know the many ways and they will after uh, m mostly been um, mostly been uh, in a uh, in a shade of b b British racing green with a white roof and then a uh, John Cooper racing lines down the side. However, they did make a limited number of these different types of of many racing cars the one i picked out it is it's a one that came in a red hot was one that came in a color called red hot and it also did have a white roof as well black fabric interior number three 1998 came around and many launched the Mini Cooper Paul Smith e edition. Only 1,800 cars were ever produced. Only 300 came to the UK. And the way how you can see the d difference uh, uh, between a more conventional Mini and the Paul Smith is that it is in a limited run color known as Paul Smith a blue, and it has a, a few very interesting features, such as a nine carat gold badge on the on the f f f f front uh, on the b b bonnet as well as it having s s s s s s s s s citrus fighting elsewhere as well as as well as on the front grill of the c c car these things are quite rare in the uk okay, so if you see one you're lucky yep number four 2005 Many Park Lane. Now the the Park Lane had been around for quite some t t t time 
uh, before the 2005 model. The 2005 model was Mini's first park lane model uh, that was built as as by then Mini was owned by uh, uh, BM, BM, uh, RW rather than it being part of the Rover and uh, 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 British Leyland's group. So, this c- c- car p- p- personally goes more into my heart because I, I want a t- t- tiny k- 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 now. I didn't know what cars we were, but there was one thing that I did know was that a n- 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 neighbor who had um who who lived uh not far from my f- from one of my family members' uh, homes used to have one, and I always used to think it was a very unique looking mini like a. I've never seen one before because not was it n- not only was it in like a really dark grey, that wasn't what we interested me. What interested me was the fact that it came with the uh bonnet b- uh bonnet st- 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 stripes which you would s- s- see on minis like nowadays. But what was different was that the Stripe wasn't really a stripe, it was more of a U shape that went around a bonnet. But it looked very interesting to us, and that's why I I knew it for that reason. (laughs) Moving up to 2006 with a mini GP. Now, for anyone who like plays racing g- g- games, or for those who n- know like b- 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 the more well-known many, I I I I I I I GPs, which c- 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 came out in two thousand twelve, and the new one which is. C- coming this year. The one that came in 2012 was actually known as the GP2. That's because in 2006 that was actually the birth of a mini uh, 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 GP. It was a car that had never been done before ever in the mini uh, department and it's not as well known as the other t- t- two Mark two and Mark three of the many GPs but it does flow in in the same color uh, designs with a dark g- gray with a with a racing uh, I I I I our GP logos, just like the usual mini GPs would, but it's a bit older. <laughs> Moving on from 2006 all the way up to 2008 this time with a mini extra extra large, which is what I like to call it. <laughs> the XXL, essentially. This is a car that, unless seen for you, wed like uh, Guinness Book of World Record things, or just like, like, if you've read like all books from around the time, like about 2010-ish, you might have seen this c- c- car in, in loads of those little books. That's where, that, books like those is actually where I first f- found out about this c- c- car. It's not really a car, is it? It's a it's a six wheel mini limousine with a swimming pool 
at the back of it and the back section where the pool is, I think it's like a convertible roof. I think. Either way, it is quite an interesting and very unique looking thing. And to my knowledge, there's barely any in the world. If I'm honest, I don't think there's any one, and I don't even think it's world legal. Well, it probably is, but I'm really unsure. Uh, it's very hard to actually find information about it. So, uh, yeah. But, all I know is that it, it does exist, and it looks really, really cool. But, once again, it's one of those minis that no one probably has ever heard of. So this is why I'm trying to tell you about Moving on four years later to car number seven. 2012, the London Olympics was finally launched and what came with it was something that is also something close to my heart because these, this, is, this was probably the first limited edition mini that I properly looked at and I was like, yeah, sure. that looks like something pretty sp 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 special. Even though not much had been really done to it. And I, sh and I will tell you that exactly. So this is the mini London 2012 edition. They only came in three colours. In the in the then if UK being and and the Olympics being based in the UK, they were only available in red, blue or white. And what was and how you can tell the difference between an ordinary Mini Cooper and a limited edition London 2012 edition is that it will have the the colours of a UK flag used for their for a for the uh, st 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 stripes which are used um, d on only one side of, of the car. I believe it's the passenger side only, but. Basically, that's how you can t tell. Rather than a, rather than it being a Mini Cooper with two, um, symmetrical, uh, st 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 stripes, it's only got one, and it's all in like, it's all done in like UK like little sc 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 squares going down like blue, white, red, blue, white, red, and it all goes right along the roof, bonnet and the boot, only on the passenger side of of a c car. It's only a little de de detail, but if you manage to find a difference, and if you see one that's got that, then you're in luck. Also, with the car, the interior difference is pretty much as ordinary, except for the fact that you get, rather than it being normal st 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 stitching, you get the same Union Jack st 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 stitching that you get on the st stripes. And many launches, what is possibly even st 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 still to this day, the most expensive Mini ever. And this is a Mini Cooper inspired by Goodwood. Now, with now, everyone's heard of Ag, uh, Ag, uh, 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 uh,
F1 knows that um, Rolls Royce is also based in Goodwood as well. So, what's this mini got to do with it? Well, this mini is only limited to a thousand models. But the real interest in this car is that all all of the paintwork and the materials inside the car have entirely been handcrafted and made by Rolls Royce only. That is including the leathers used in, used in the seats, the polished wood wood on the dashboard, uh, the fine fine sheep's wool used in the carpets, as well as the diamond black paint which is on the exterior. These things go for quite a lot of money now. I think I saw one for like fifty thousand pounds, and that that is a lot of money for that's a lot of money for a mini. But I wouldn't mind having one if it if, if it was full of Rolls Royce quality, you know. Also, the car comes in seventeen inch multi spoke wheels. You only get rings like this if you bring your hatch back into Rolls Royce. <laughs> car number nine. This is more of a more recent one, but the 2019 Mini Cooper 60th Anniversary Edition. Now, I have done an episode of Car Talk on this car actually last year. Uh, I made an episode on it. Um, I believe it was somewhere around, around the time when I was about to go off to Paris. But, yeah. It's it, it it's also a very interesting c- 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 car because not many people know about it. The difference between these, these 60th anniversary cars and an ordinary Mini c- c- Cooper is that, well, in 2019, you were unable to order a Mini Cooper in British Racing Green. The reason why is because for that year only, the Mini Cooper 60th Anniversary Edition was exclusively purchased only in that colour. Which is why, if you went to order a 2019 Mini Cooper, and if you want it in uh, British Racing Green, you could not get it unless you got the 60th Anniversary Edition. The 60th Anniversary Editions are also very, very exclusive. In my time, I've only seen one. And that was when the car was new. And then that moves us on to... The final 10th car which I have listed, which is the 2020 Mini GP3. I, I probably, I did have to add it. It's probably the least, it's probably the least unknown Mini out of all of these on the list. But I just had to put it in the list just to, um, put it all in line because I put every car into year year order. So anyway, we're, we're, we're talking brand new Mini GP3. What we're talking about here is a car with ultimately high downforce coming from that pretty decent sized rear spoiler coming off the roof, as well as a lot of aero parts which are coming off the pretty wide wheel arches. And we can't uh, talk about this car 
without talking about its st 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 stats. So what we're talking about here is the six, the same six hundred. Six hundred horsepower. Well, this is a super mini. <laughs> Three hundred and six horsepower, going straight to the front wheels, and it's purely built for performance. So far, I only know one person who owns one of these at the moment, but let's let's see what this car can really do. On, on the open world, world, and see if it's actually actually better in a sense than the old GP two mini. We'll have to see. But anyway, that is all of the that is all of the cars on my list of the ten rare minis that you have probably never heard of. This is a brand new series which I do want to keep on d d doing unless if it's got, unless if the series has a low amount of uh, d d d d d d d d d demand then I will not really do this series. But I just thought it was something a bit, a bit interesting to do and it was interesting for me because I got to learn a f f f f few facts about this, these minis and of course they do uh, add on a, a, a lot of time it, it, into uh, d doing all this research so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then a like is always a like is is always appreciated and of course subscribe to our channel for more if if you want to see more in the future. Apart from that guys I'd like I'd like I'd like to thank you for this watching and I'll see you in the next video.